All right, Logan, whenever you are ready. How sexism affects the way women communicate. So the issue at hand is that women are faced with extreme sexism, especially from men. Uh, this sexism changes the way that women communicate and perceive the world around them. Um, some sexist factors that play into um, the way that women communicate are um, internalized sexism, unhealthy work environments, sexist language, misogynistic marriages, and male silence. Um, internalized sexism. So women can be sexist to other women and even like towards themselves. Kerwin Charles, a professor of economics at Yale University, conducted a study about how internalized sexism affects the way that women communicate. His study concluded that women are more affected by internalized sexism when they live in areas where men believe that women's capacities are inferior to men's, families are hurt when women work, and women should adhere to strict roles in society. This restricts the way that women present themselves to the world by confining them to strict roles in society, such as like a caretaker or um, like a strict mother role. Um, unhealthy work environments. Sexism creates unhealthy work environments via sexual harassment and discrimination when it comes to women getting jobs. Um, Marion Scott, a reporter known for her research about sexism and the struggles of women, writes, women are twice as likely to feel their gender had affected their career. Sexist comments from men change the way that women talk to their male co-workers. Um, Scott also writes, sexual harassment affects women's jobs, making them feel unsafe. Sexist language used by men. So sexist language that men use to communicate with women, such as terms of endearment or TOE, like honey, sugar, deer, um, reinforces and affects the way that women perceive sexism. Laura Hildebrand, a writer affiliated with Purdue University, points out that the use of TOE by strangers is a form of sexual harassment. Um, she also points out that women who are often victims of uh, this form of sexual harassment react less negatively um, than women who don't hear the use of terms of the This is because they are exposed to this sexism for so long that it becomes normal for them to hear, thus changing the perception of this type of communication. Misogynistic marriages. Um, men communicate sexism towards women through misogynistic marriages. Um, these marriages reinforce patriarchal gender roles by restricting women's ability to make domestic decisions. Um, Parheen Hussein, a senior reporter known for his current and accurate research, writes, there's a direct connection between incidences of domestic violence and men's attitude towards keeping women out of domestic decisions. By keeping women out of these decisions, like finances, for example, um, it restricts their ability to communicate uh, their concerns about the decisions with their male partners so they have no say in what is going on in their household. And then male silence when it comes to women's issues. The last factor is the male silence. Um, men tend to keep their grievances um, and opinions about the sexism that women face to themselves. Um, Meg A. Warren, a professor at Western Washington University, and a noted researcher writes, male leaders have the opportunity to leverage both their relative social privilege as men and authority as leaders to enact allyship with women. However, men are hesitant to respond to this sexism because it might be seen as unprofessional. This creates a further divide between the communication of men and women. So my counter argument is um, that some women actually turn to men for support from their um, for the sexism that they face um, in the workplace or just out in public in general. Um, Melanie Maiman, a doctoral candidate in social psychology, writes, women who experience sexism are likely to look for comfort from their male relationship partners. This actually strengthens uh, the relationship between men and women and their communication rather than uh, negatively impacting it like the previous factors that we've discussed. Um, for the stimulus materials, um, I used the secret or the life of peasants and the secret life of plants. In the life of peasants published by Harper and Brothers, uh, published with based in New York, 
Uh, the author talks about how peasant men actually beat their wives. Um, the story says, if I beat her, she will weep the whole day through. Then when I return in the evening, she will be more tender. I use this to further my argument that domestic violence and sexism are closely connected and affect the way that women and men communicate with each other in their household. Um, the Secret Life of Plants uh, by Ferris Schauber, uh, a writer featured in the New York Times and the Scientific American. It talks about the relationships between plants and it says that the plants of the same species will work together in an environment, but plants from different species don't tend to like help each other. So this isn't unlike the relationship between men and women. So uh, men will mostly help other men to succeed and not like lend a helping hand to women. So um, this was used to make a point that men are pretty silent on women's issues because they don't feel like they need to reach across the aisle and help them too. The change in solution. In order to change anything, uh, men will have to uh, take accountability. Farhi Hussein writes, in order for the cycle of sexism to break, men must become role models in the way that they treat their wives on equal terms and teach the next generation. The only real solution to the sexism, the sexism that women face is to educate men and young people. Thank you. All right, so let's answer a couple of questions here. Um, what information did you need that you were not able to locate? Um, I was researching about the patriarchal society and how men are seen as more like important and they have a better opinion than women. Um, it was really hard to find any information that really like, helped my uh, conclusion and helped me gather um, more information to uh, make my argument that women are um, seen as less than men. It was just hard to find that kind of material. Okay, and um, how did you use your conclusions or questions of others to advance your own research? So one conclusion that I did use um, to advance my research was Farheen Hussein. He came to the conclusion um, that the only real way to change is to educate and inform the next generation. And that really got me thinking and helped me continue researching on the education that men get of women's issues and how that um, affects the way that they perceive women. All right. Thank you.